All right, today uh, we're gonna go over how to do something like this. Uh, oh wait, like this. I forget which way I'm facing. Uh, this I call this the marker flip, and I have two versions. I have one at 23.3 or 24 frames per second, and I have one at 10 frames per second. And I like how both of them look, um, but I'm gonna sort of show you um, a little bit of my process of creating this. Uh, so let's get into it. The marker flip. Um, so step one, just go File, New, create a new pivot, and um, Edit, Options. If you want yours to look exactly like mine, I set this one to 400 by 400, and I set my onion skins to, I'm gonna set it to three. Three or four is good. Um, it lets you see uh, what just happened and what's gonna happen. Okay, so the basics of this, uh, I'm also gonna add it, I'm gonna create a figure. So I'm gonna go to File, Create Figure Type, or Control, Alt, F. Control, Alt, F. Okay, and it should give you a line. If you don't see a line, if you see a character, you're gonna hit the X until all that's left is a line. Okay, and just the real basics, if you look at the very bottom, there's some writing here, and so when I change this, uh, it changes uh, different things down there. So I'm gonna hold the Control, CTRL, and I'm gonna shrink it in, and you're gonna see that the length just changed to 26. Um, I'm gonna get it to 20, 24, 25, 26, and then I'm going to change the thickness, um, and I'm going to adjust it so that it's about 6 to 8, somewhere in there. You choose which one you like, and then say File, Add to Animation, and I'm going to name it Marker, because this is my marker flip, so that's what it's going to be. Okay, the next thing, the very next important thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of both of my um, op character and objects so that they don't blend into each other when we watch the animation. So I'm going to just make this sort of a, a brownish color, and I'm gonna make this a blue color maybe, or green, how about green? Something that'll stick out a little bit from my character. Okay, cool. So uh, here goes uh, the basics of the flip. I'm just gonna just very quick explanation. When I throw something up in the air, I drop my hand down, and then I, <laughs> I can't catch it, <laughs> and, I, and I throw it up and I catch it. So my hand, my hand goes down, it goes up, object flips, lands back in my hand. Basically, all objects when thrown have an arc. So for example, if you were to throw a baseball to a friend across the room, it might look like this. If you did a kind of a lob, if you were throwing it really fast, it might be more like this, more of like a straight line. If you're throwing it straight up in front of your face, it might be like this. The arch might be like, whoop, it just does a little tiny thing. And, the, and your marker or your object or your ball or whatever you're throwing is going to stay on that line. It's called gravity. The only time it's going to change is if you're like in a fantasy world, like let's say Harry Potter or the Star Wars, where you use the force or, or magic and you sort of zap it out of gravity and you make it slide sideways directly through the air. Like that doesn't happen. Even something going really fast, even a bullet uh, fired over a long period of time drops because of gravity. So um, if you want your animation to look cool, you gotta understand some of the basic rules, some science, some math. Okay, so we're animating this animation at, I'm setting it at 23 frames per second. Um, uh, also, I've done two. I did one at 10 frames per second and one at 23, which means that for one second of action, if this takes, this takes one and a half seconds, roughly, we timed it a bunch of times, like an actual throw and catch. So one and a half seconds at 10 frames per second, 1.5 times 10, would come out to 15 frames per second. So meaning to make that action, I would probably do about 15 frames. To do uh, a 24 frames per second, it would come out to somewhere around 35, 38. I'm sorry, I don't know the exact math, uh, but um, it would be more because if one second is 23, 24 frames. Anyway, let's start animating. I'm just gonna show you my body positions. So I'm gonna start with him in a, uh, I'm gonna start with him or her, whoever, uh, in this position here. I'm gonna have the marker kind of facing sideways. And I'm gonna just go ahead and space bar. And now, because this is 20, uh, basically at 23, almost 24 frames per second, I'm gonna make a lot of smaller motions. I'm still not gonna do exact. You shouldn't move things exactly like one, two, three, four, five. It, a beginning of a motion starts closer together and then it gets farther apart as it picks up speed. So my first move is gonna be to move the arm down just a very tiny little bit, okay? And I'm gonna make sure that that looks like it's the same distance. I'm gonna move it a little 
further this time. I gotta. I'm, I love to know if there's a way to make uh, control the amount of the adjustment that you make. So if you're a pivot expert, I would love to know that. Like if I can sort of make micro adjustments to pulling a, a red joint down. So if you know that, uh, please share. So I'm gonna go down a little more. And then I'm gonna make tiny motions because he's slowing down. He's almost at the bottom of his uh, flip maneuver. Now it's gonna make one more tiny, itsy bitsy, teeny tiny move. Um, the hard thing, I might make this bigger next time so I can see it better. I feel like he's really tiny here. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit one frame where it stops at the bottom. So I'm gonna do one more frame like that. Okay, now he's gonna start moving up. The first move is gonna be very small, very small but it's gonna pick up speed because he's getting ready to do his flip. So now it's gonna jump even more, probably the biggest space we've seen so far. I'm gonna go even a little bit more like that. Then I'm gonna start bending his wrist because he's getting ready to actually flip it. I'm gonna move it even further this time because he's getting ready to do the action that sort of the big, the central thing that we're doing in this particular animation, right? Okay, it's gonna to get to about level and then I'm gonna bend his wrist some more. And I'm gonna get this marker. And it's gonna be flipping, I think it, the way I did it, it's flipping, turning towards me, okay? So uh, we're getting it pointed straight out with his arm, space bar. Here comes the last move. This is the release. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it, it's gonna go, it actually went pretty fast there. So the first, it's moving, really fast now at the beginning and then it's going to slow down when it hits the the top of its spin so i'm going to make it move further the, the more you move it in a move the faster it's going to appear so uh so we'll uh space bar did i just i'm going to use the arrow uh next to the m and the question mark are the uh brackets and they let you i think i stuck on the same one twice so i got to make sure to move this one let's move this yeah Okay, that one's gonna go a lot higher. Well, not a lot, but quite a bit higher. Okay, space bar. I'm gonna have the hand following through, so it's like he's, it's almost like his hand is following the marker. Also, I'm gonna have it start spinning. I'm gonna try to keep it in this sort of central area so that there's that, that's the middle. Okay. Um, oh, that didn't move very much, so I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna move this up higher. It should be going, you know, like higher for sure. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now um, I'm gonna have it spin more. It's also, it's gonna, it's sort of getting close to the top of its uh, thing. And I forgot, I'm gonna go back. I'm also gonna move his hand. Like his hand is sort of following it. Okay, and space bar. I'm gonna, let me watch this so far. I'm gonna hit play, and we're gonna watch this. Okay, so the beginning of that looks pretty good. Now I've gotta get the, the continuation of the flip, all right? So let's use my, I'm using my arrows, my brackets, but next to the letter M and question mark. So the last one was there. So let's go. Now it's gonna start slowing down because it's reaching the, the top of its thing. And notice I'm kind of keeping this center I'm trying to keep it centered as best I can. I'm not gonna move it as much, and I'm gonna move his hand a little bit more. I might even point his head back a little bit like he's looking at the uh, that, that object. Okay, space bar. I'm gonna straighten his arm out. Head back a little bit more. Maybe his arm goes down because he's tilting his head. And, uh, did I move this? I'm gonna go up just a little bit more because it's hitting the top of its of its uh, peak. And I'm gonna keep head, arm. I might even go back later and adjust my legs just to make it cooler. Okay, so I'm gonna go up just a little bit, but I'm gonna spin this a little more. It's hitting the top of its, uh, its, its uh, arc and then it's gonna start coming back down. I'm gonna do one more where it's turning ever so slightly and it's just barely going any higher. And now it's gonna start falling. 
I'm gonna fit his head back one more. Straighten his arm out a little. I'm just doing these motions on the guy because it looks weird if someone just locks like a robot frozen, okay? So there is the top of my arc, let's play it. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm liking it so far. I think it looks pretty, pretty smooth. So I hit the top of the arc, right? Uh, uh, and now let's, I'm gonna have it spin like right there in the same spot. Like it just barely, I'm gonna make it move up a little higher. Um, add frame, now it's gonna fall. The next frame is gonna fall. So let's have it move downward and it's, the first couple moves are gonna be very close together but then it's gonna pick up speed. I may, I'm gonna adjust the guy after this. I wanna, I really wanna get this uh, falling to look really good, so. I'm gonna try to line that up with the center of my, the object. See how I'm, I'm sort of lining that up? And it's gonna start picking up speed, it's gonna, be farther apart and meanwhile this guy is he's preparing that this is gonna fall and it's moving farther apart each time because it's picking up speed he's gonna I'm gonna have him start like leaning and straightening his hand because he's trying to anticipate this and where was the last one? Oh, okay I see did I move it? No, I didn't. See, it, you got to make sure you're moving both things. That can get it can get confusing. So, got to be careful. Okay, and then I'm gonna lean him in a little more so that he's not gonna miss this. Oh man, you can get it, buddy. You can do this. Oh, he's gonna have to make a. He's gonna have to make a jump here. I'm gonna I'm gonna stretch him a little bit more. Cause I want it to look like he really could actually reach it, you know? Maybe I'm gonna bend his leg and just put him forward just a little bit. Yep. I'm just gonna put that in his hand. I'm gonna just make that's gonna make that landing right there. Bam! Now, the catch is the final part, and I wanna make it, I wanna sell this uh, catch. So when he catches it, his hand's gonna come down like he, you know, like when you catch something, you sort of, uh, I don't know what it's called. When in baseball, you sort of, you don't just put your hand straight. I Like usually, you come back a little bit with the ball to absorb some of the impact of the, the item. Now this isn't a heavy item, but he's trying to catch it like a ninja style. So I'm gonna have him, now I'm having his hand come down, and this is sort of falling and straightening out like the first time he had it. And he's slowing it down. So the motions it's making now are much smaller motions. And we're at 29 frames. That's about where I was hoping to be at this point. Somewhere in the 30s uh, when I finish, 30 to almost 40 something. Okay. Eh. Sort of like, I'm gonna have him uh, also straighten up a little. So I'm gonna have him move back. I'm gonna have him sort of uh, just come back a little bit from his stance. I'm gonna adjust his head a little. And the marker is gonna move backwards with him because he kind of reached out and he's pulling it back in. I think. Again, we'll uh, we'll see in a second if this looks any good or if it looks like trash. Hopefully it looks good. Um, I'm like, I'm feeling pretty good about this. And I'm just making the tiniest motions now, like just little itsy bitsy, teeny tiny, because we're at 24 frames, so we're, you know, and then I'm gonna hit space bar, one, two, three, and then I'm gonna have him do the victory pose. One, I'm gonna adjust his hand now, and this hand, they're gonna start a little motion so that it appears uh, it's starting so it doesn't fool our viewer, then it's gonna make a big jump like that, 
Like that's a big jump for us at this point in the animation because we haven't made moves like that extreme yet. I'm gonna straighten him out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna turn him a little bit. I'm gonna get him into his victory pose. The hands are gonna whip up. It's gonna sort of look like he's gonna go wow like that. And so I'm making big motions so that it appears like it goes really fast. And I'm almost done. And this is the victory. Bam. One, two, three, four. Let's play that. I think 47 frames. I think this is going to look pretty great. Let's watch. Yeah. I'm going to make I'm gonna make that, that last thing hold a little longer. Um, so I'm just going to, like, hit a uh, uh, space bar. Like, I don't know. There we go. Let's try that. Hit it just a bunch of times. Yeah, I like that. And then... I'm gonna make it so that the loop looks good. So uh, to make the loop look good, um, if you hit play, you'll you'll see that he sort of when he he locks and then he it jumps. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna have his arm go down like this so that he it sort of makes sense going back into position. So I'm gonna start dropping his arm, dropping this arm, so that it sort of looks like a smooth loop. Bam! Start curving the arm. We're almost back where we started here. Let's just hit play and see if that see if that makes more sense when I come back together. Yeah, woo! I feel I'm feeling good about this. So there you go. It's this is the, one of my longer videos, and it's because I really took you through step by step. Um, so let me know what you think. I'd love to see what you do. I thought this would be. I had a student say, "Oh, what if I did this as a bottle flip?" I'm like, "That'd be great." Then you could have him sort of flip it out and have it land somewhere. Maybe even when it lands, it sort of slides a little. So you could practice some of the gravity of, of a slide and what a slide looks like. Um, probably watch Dude Perfect. Those guys probably have a million slow-mo videos of water bottles sliding into cool positions or something. So um, anyway, have a great day and uh, keep animating. And let me see what you do. This is Mr. Giles. Have a great day.